Hello and welcome. In today's video, we're going to take a look at using the workshop to expand the capabilities of the grandmother. For this example, I'm going to use several of the individual elements of the workshop to modify different parts of the patch on the grandmother. So let's take a look at how it's going to work. The first thing that I'm going to do is incorporate the LFO from the workshop and use it to modulate the filter of the grandmother. This is going to give us two LFOs in this patch because I'm going to use the grandmother's internal LFO to achieve some vibrato on the oscillators. So what I'm going to do is patch from the LFO out on the workshop to the attenuator in the utility section in the center of the grandmother. And I'm going to patch the output of that attenuator to the filter cutoff input. So now that I've done this patching, we should be able to hear the LFO modulating the filter of the grandmother. And we can use the attenuator to adjust the depth. But I'm going to keep it kind of subtle. So this is just going to add a little bit of movement to the patch. The next step is to have the workshop actually track the keyboard of the grandmother. So for this step, I'm going to focus on the arpeggiator sequencer section of the grandmother. And I'm going to patch the gate output from the grandmother to the gate input on the workshop. And I'm also going to patch the KB output on the grandmother to the VCO exponential FM input on the workshop. So now that we've done this, the workshop should track the keyboard. And to confirm, what I'm going to do is patch the output of the workshop using a quarter inch to eighth inch cable. And I'm going to plug it into the noise input on the mixer section of the grandmother. So I'm going to turn the noise knob up, and I'm going to open up the filter. And let's make sure that the workshop is tracking. So as you can hear, the workshop's tracking the keyboard, but it's out of tune with my oscillators. So I'm going to adjust the workshop's VCO frequency knob until I am actually tuned a fifth above the oscillators on the grandmother. So there's my unison, so now I'm going to tune it seven semitones upward. So that sounds good. So now I'm going to use the workshop in a little bit of a unique way in that I'm going to feed the workshop signal into the reverb input and replace the grandmother's signal being fed into the spring reverb. Um, and to add a little bit of tonal control before we hit the reverb, what I'm going to do is repatch the workshop's output from the noise input in the mixer instead into the high pass filter in the utility section and I'm going to patch the output of that into the reverb input. So now, notice that when I press a key, we'll no longer be able to hear the work stop in our main signal. And if we listen to the spring reverb now, and I'm going to turn it fully wet, we're going to be able to hear the work stop being fed into the spring reverb. A nice feature that we gain from doing this is having a lot of tonal control in terms of the signal being fed into the spring reverb. Because I'm using the full workshop voice, it means that I still have access to the envelope and the VCF of the workshop in addition to the high pass filter on the grandmother. So this allows us to really shape the signal getting fed into the spring reverb. And then when I mix it back in with our dry signal, as you can hear, we get this nice effect where the Workstats oscillator is playing a higher note than the grandmother's internal oscillator. And so we get this nice interval effect from the wet signal of the spring reverb. So the last thing that I'm going to do is incorporate the internal modulation 
of the LFO to modulate the oscillator. And I'm just going to get a gentle kind of seasick warble. And you'll notice that in the modulation section, I have the pitch amount turned just a little bit up so that this gives us a nice subtle effect. Now that I have it patched this way, I'm going to play a sequence that I have saved in the sequencer and just adjust some of these settings so that we can hear how this all sounds in practice. As you can hear, the workshop is an excellent way to dynamically expand the functionality of the grandmother, adding a lot more depth to your synthesis.